morning guys so here we are just woken up again um in my little loungewear and i'm gonna do another vlog today so i'm gonna talk about what i eat in a day and um, what we're gonna get up to today I'm not actually too sure 100 percent what we're doing um but yeah it'll probably involve lots of eating and lots of shopping so i've come down this morning um kitchen's looking quite clean and tidy for a change. Um, isn't it lovely when all the light comes in and you've got a nice light, airy kitchen? I just love it. And one of my amazing friends off Instagrams just sent me this gorgeous candle um, and it's by Soul Candles and it's a relaxed one. And my kitchen smells like I'm in a spa right now. So yeah, it's so good. Um, just done the washing up, yes, my husband has left it all to me. Um, and you'll all laugh, but this Sports Direct mug, I have about 10 of them and they are my absolute favorite mugs because they're so massive. Um, always got my iPad ready. Oh, I'm gonna show you actually, look at my new iPad cover. How nice is this? Cute, look at that. So different pictures um, that I've had made into a collage. I'll pop a link down because these are really cool for um, Christmas presents. I also have um, a phone case that's similar as well. And I just love every time that I'm on my iPad or my phone that I can see different pictures of people that I love. So I'm trying to decide um, what to make for breakfast. So we haven't got loads of food in. We need to go food shopping. So I'm thinking, Either I'm going to make an omelette and save my bee choice or I might just have some cereal. So let's see. All right. Let's have a good day, guys. So once you've heated up your pan with some um, fry light, today I've used the avocado fry light. I'm just going to add my speed food vegetables. So I've gone for red onion, yellow pepper and um, some mushroom some spring onion, and then I'm gonna add some tomatoes in a minute. So, I like to fry that off for a couple of minutes first, and just make sure everything's separated. So, the more speed food you put in, it just means the more full you're gonna be, and we all know speed food is good for our weight loss. So, next thing I would do is then add my mixture. So, what I've got in here is one whole egg, some egg white. Now, the egg white that I use is this one from Muscle Food. It's 100% um, pure liquid eggs and they're free range. Um, it's fat free. So the reason I use egg white is I do eat quite a lot of eggs and they are free, which is absolutely fantastic. But I like the taste of the egg white as well. So I just use one egg and then egg white. So add that to the fried vegetables you need a really good non-stick pan as well guys that's really key so um i'll just let that cook off for a few minutes and then i'll come back to you so once the bottom of the omelet is nearly cooked i then add some of my chopped cherry tomatoes and i pop them all in the center like this and then I sprinkle over some oregano. So oregano on an omelette and on some tomatoes like this almost gives it that like pizza flavour. Um, you can add cheese if you want to, but I'm going to be drinking quite a bit of milk today, so I don't want to use my healthy extra A. So once you've done that, the best thing you can do then is take it off the hob and put it under the grill. So, by grilling it, you've just got more chance of the omelette staying in its position. So, pop it on quite a high temperature and then just leave it until the top is cooked. So, once you take it out of the grill, it should look something like this. Now, Chris has decided to get out of bed, so he's in the kitchen. No, he's not in the kitchen, he's in the lounge watching match of the day and I don't want to watch match of the day so I'm gonna eat my omelette sat at my kitchen table 
So I've just got out of the shower, now I'm going to get ready. Um, this is my dressing room, so this is the room where I trowel all my uh, makeup on my face. So I'm going to quickly jump past the mirror there. Um, this is a picture from when we got married and it's got loads of different um, messages on there. The picture is actually um, one from our engagement. Uh, we had like a free photo shoot um, with our wedding photographer. So. Um, this is just a dresser with clothes in, and um, then I have different products that I use all lined up. Um, this is my messy, my messy desk. Um, the mirror matches the long mirror there, so I always have my iPad on when I'm getting ready. I've got more stuff um, saved underneath um, that I use. Then I've got different makeup products here, and then I've got more stuff. That I, well, actually, some of this is Chris's. I do, I do uh, let him have a little bit of shelf space. Um, so yeah, this is the dressing room. This is where I film a lot of my um, videos. So there's some of my kit there, uh, and then I've got some pictures on this side of the wall as well. So right, let's get ready. Hi guys. So I just got to the shopping centre. There's queues absolutely everywhere. And I got a car park in space straight away. Don't you just love it when that happens? Let's go shopping. shopping and I had such a big breakfast and such a big dinner last night that I haven't actually been very hungry today which if you follow my Instagram you'll know that I eat loads normally so I'm just gonna um, show you what I'm gonna have to eat now I am literally just bought a pack of um, turkey so when I'm on the run and I want things to snack on I tend to reach for um, cooked meat because it's just quick easy and sin free and then I'm going to have some cork and I'm going to mix some flavouring in with that and I'll probably have it with a satsuma. Hi guys so welcome back to my channel hopefully it's not too dark out there it's um it's a little bit later than when I normally film, so the lighting's not quite as good. So um, hopefully you'll be able to see everything in detail. I didn't want to wait till tomorrow because I wanted to show you everything that I've just bought. So um, went on a little bit of a, a shopping trip, and I started off in Primark. So let's start off with the things from Primark. So one of the first things that I got was this really really cute um, loungewear like pajama set. Um, on the front it's got a picture of a unicorn and it says always dreaming of unicorns and it's got a little hood but the thing I love about this is the material it's that really really soft material so obviously these are just for like wearing around the house and I just thought they were really cute and um, I got them in a size a medium and they were only £15 so that was the first thing then I got this top, um, which is the one that I'm wearing now. So, um, it's got like a lace panel, it's got bell sleeves, which makes you feel a little bit like a wizard <laughs> or a butterfly. Um, and then it's got the lace panel all the way down the middle and here. Um, and it comes to just above your jeans, so absolutely love this. Um, so obviously I had to get it in black as well. So absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous blouses that you can just throw on. Um, and these are only £12. Now, a little tip, they do come up quite small. So I went for um, a size 12 and the 10 was just slightly too tight, like around my neck. Um, normally I'm always a size 10 or a size 8 and stuff like this. So definitely go up a size if you're going to buy any of those. Next, I got some control underwear <laughs> i'm sure you really wanted to know that um but you know sometimes where you just need a little bit of 
sucking in. Then these are really cool. These are the high rise briefs and they're five pounds. Then I also needed just a plain like um, t-shirt bra. Um, I've got something that I need to wear it under and that was only two pounds, which is a complete bargain. Some more tights, cause you know I love their tights, 80 denier tights. Then I wear loads and loads of um, vest tops and I've written about this before. Um, if I'm in a rush, what I tend to do, God, don't you hate these little things that come on the side of the tops? These things. I hate them, I always rip them off. So, um, I wear a lot of vest tops, I chuck them under all my kimonos and all my duster jackets and things like that. And all my vest tops I tend to get from Topshop or River Island. Um, and they're about £16 each, which I guess is quite a lot really, just for a little black vest. So when I saw these in Primarni, I was like, oh my god, that's so good. Um, they were only £4 four pounds and they fit really really nice the v is really flattering so because they're only four pounds i got a few of them and um, i think i got three all together um and then i wanted um a couple of new winter coats um i'm a little bit of a, a coat hoarder i do have loads and loads of coats but you can never have too many coats, it's gonna be cold, we're gonna need cozy coats. So this one is so gorgeous. I absolutely love anything that's grey and I love fur collars on coats. Um this was 40 pounds, but it's a long grey coat with the um like a little waist belt, which I really like, and the fur is actually detachable. So, with coats, um, especially in Primark, I tend to find that they normally come up quite big, so I tend to go down a size, so, how snuggly, oh, isn't it just gorgeous, absolutely love it, it's got a little bit of a, a button here as well, so you can just do them up if you want to, um, I don't really wear coats done up, I don't know why I'm a bit of a weirdo like that, so, yeah, how nice is that, um, so I've got that one in a size 8, and that is 40 pounds. Hmm, now, not sure how I feel about that. I thought 40 pounds was quite a lot for Primark. I always want things to be like 20 quid. Um, but I got it, I, I got it, because I thought it was nice. Um, so while we're on the theme of coats, um, I got another blazer. Now, this blazer I got in a size 10. Um, I have got quite a lot of blazers already that are like this. Um, but what I really liked about this one was the gathered sleeves. So this looks really, really nice on. Um, and do you know what? This was £17. I got it in a size 10. Now, £17 for a blazer is really, really good. Because after I left... I went into um, River Island or Miss Savage, can't remember which one now, and they had exactly the same coat as the Primark one I've just showed you, and exactly the same blazer, and they were way more expensive. The coat was like 80 quid, and the blazer I think was about 40, so really, really good value. And then, because this checkered look is, um, it's really in fashion, checkered, dog tooth, it's all really, really in fashion. Um, I wanted a, a big coat as well that had this sort of pattern on and um, this is really nice. I always like coats that have got that cinched in bit as well. But the brilliant thing about this, it's really, really soft and it's really, really long. So I'm trying to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like on. So that goes all the way down to the bottom of like my, I'd say the bottom of my calf. Um, so I just love it, I absolutely love it. The only thing is, <laughs> it needs ironing because this bit keeps sticking out and it's really bothering me. Um, but yeah, really nice material, really cozy. I bought that one in a size eight. Um, again, because the coats tend to come up quite big um, and I don't like my coats looking big and baggy and that one was £35. So really, really like that, really like that. And then, what else did I get? So, I got this really pretty blouse as well. Um, this blouse is like a goldy kind of nude sort of pink colour and it's got this gorgeous little 
black lacy design down the front and then right at the end it's got the little bell sleeves again now this one i also got in a size 12 um only because i just wanted it quite loose fitting and that was only 12 pound so yeah nice little blush pink blouse that you can just chuck on so loving that and then while I was in Primark, I've been hearing really, really um, good things about their makeup range. And I'm just trying to find another thing that I have. Okay, yeah, got it. So, I've been hearing good things about their makeup range. So, I thought I'd try them out. Now, I've got the um, Instagirl Max Color Lip Plump Gloss. And this is a high shine finish which plumps your pout out. And um, this one is in like a pinky colour. And that was £4. Then I've been hearing really good things about the Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayons. These are meant to be really, really good. Um, I got the colour Super Nude and I got the colour Ballerina. And they're only £2 each. And then <clears throat> I've got, where is it? I've got the Hourglass. Um, stick foundation um, which is a really good like foundation but it is quite expensive and I've been told that the My Perfect Colour Moisturising Foundation Stick from Primark is amazing I've heard it's a really really good foundation stick so <clears throat> I really wanted to try it and it was only £2.50 so for £2.50 I thought why not why not take, take a risk in life and try the Primark foundation. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. And then the last things that I got, um, I, mean, I needed some blue jeans. Now I put a link on my Facebook page the other day about my absolute favourite jeans. Um, I've tried so many different brands of jeans on. Um, I've already also tried lots of different ranges within a brand. Um, and these are the best, 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 best jeans I've found. Um, when you wash them, they don't go really grey and they don't go funny like, I don't know, like, I've got a pair from River Island and they go, like, really stiff and they're horrible to wear. Um, but these Topshop jeans are incredible. Um, they're the Jamie jeans and they're high waist ankle grazer jeans. And I get mine in a size 10, which is a 28. Um, but I needed some new blue ones. Um, I've got loads and loads of black pairs. I've got, I think I've pretty much got a black pair for every day of the week because I just live in them. Um, but I had to get some blue ones for something that I need them for, which you'll find out about soon. And these are just the best jeans ever and that they are 40 pounds i think let me just double check yeah 40 pound which i think for a really decent pair of jeans is not that bad and then the last thing i got was this really lovely top this was from miss selfridge it was only 16 pounds um but i wear quite a lot of body suits i'm really into body suits and this one is a bardo style one so it's off the shoulder and um, i always think the ones that come off the shoulder are really really flattering so I'm looking forward to wearing that. So that was my quick shopping haul. I don't think I did too bad for um, an afternoon. And what I'm actually going to go and do now is a bit more shopping online. But shh, don't tell my husband. Thanks for watching. Really, really tired um, so I'm gonna have an early dinner and um, so we're gonna do chili so we haven't got a lot of um, food in so I'm gonna do corn chili so the first thing I do is I add onion peppers mushrooms garlic and chili and then I'm gonna add my mince so I'm using the frozen corn mince and like it says it's high in protein gluten free and low in saturated fat so I've added the frozen mints and then in a minute I'm going to add my spices. So the first spice that I'm going to add is cayenne pepper and that just gives it that little bit of a kick. Um, just trying to get it to focus. So I don't actually weigh out or use tablespoons or anything, I just do it freehand. So with the cayenne pepper, because it's quite hot, I just put a bit into the cap. Um, I'd say that's probably a tablespoon. So about a tablespoon. Then I like to add a little bit of smoked paprika. Um, smoked paprika just gives it a really, really nice, like smoky, <laughs> smoky uh, taste. So again, probably about a tablespoon of that. 
Then my favorite ingredient to add to chili is cumin. So the cumin goes in next, and this is the one that I put the most amount in. So that's a whole cap full, which is probably about two tablespoons. Then the last thing I'm gonna add is some cinnamon, and this is the one I put the least amount in. So this is gonna be about a teaspoon of cinnamon. So once that's all in, just give it a good stir. Then the next thing I'm gonna add is the kidney beans. So you need kidney beans in chili sauce, and these are sin free. And then I'm gonna add the passata. So passata, for those of you that don't know, is just a carton of like sieved tomatoes. So you can use chopped tomatoes, but it will be a bit chunkier. In chili, I prefer to use passata. So depending on how much chili you're making, you might need half a carton of passata. And then just add some seasoning, so salt and pepper. And that's going to be your chilli done once it's cooked. And then with my chilli I'm going to make some cauliflower rice. So you just blitz up the cauliflower in a food processor and then just pan fry it. It'll only take about five minutes on a hot heat with some fry light. And this is the final dish. So that's corn, sin-free, Tex-Mex chilli and coriander cauliflower rice. Really, really quick, really tasty and completely sin-free. So that's gonna be the end of my Sunday vlog. Um, if I do eat anything else, it'll probably just be uh, a fat-free Greek yogurt or maybe a piece of fruit or something because actually I'm really, really full. Keep playing with my hair because I, I want to go and put it in a big pineapple on top of my head. Sunday, slouchy evening. Can't wait. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and then subscribe and then you'll get more videos. Really, really hope you're enjoying watching these sort of videos. I do enjoy making them. If there's any other types of videos that you'd like, then just pop a little comment down below and I'll see what I can do. So happy flopping guys.